I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walter University with the Joint Faculty Appointment at Ross University School of Medicine. Um, and in this video, I'm, I'm going to be going over um, just the wonderful colors that appear um, during the fall season. Um, it's really a nice time to be um, going outside and um, seeing how the leaves change. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to go through the scientific um, process of uh, why leaves um, change colors and become what they are to the, um, in, in this season. Um, so there's compounds in the trees which cause the changing of the leaf colors and uh, notably carotenoids uh, like beta carotene gives you that orange color, the richness of the color. Um, the cause of the orange color of carrots, uh, lutein, also contributes to the yellow color of the egg yolks. So just to give you a sense of where some of this comes from. Uh, lycopene, which is also responsible for the red color of tomatoes, is also important as one of the carotenoids. Um, one of the uh, many uses of trees and plants is um, I wanted to just bring this up. Um, there's many examples, um, but Taxol is one example used in breast cancer for an, as an anti-tumor agent. Um, it was derived from the Pacific yew tree. Um, so the bark of this um, tree actually provides um, anti-tumor um, property. So what, what is one of the mechanism of um, chlorophyll um, gradual breakdown of the pigment um, chlorophyll that's found in plants that gives them that lush green color and chlorophyll is not just there for the sake of greenness um, it's actually converting um, and 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 um, creating um, glucose and h2o um, so there's a creation of sugars, which then uh, humans and other animals are able to break down. Um, signals due to decreasing daylight is what causes leaves to change. So the idea is that um, abscission, um, what causes leaves to fall? I've told you what causes them to change. Now, what causes them abscission or uh, falling? Uh, well, first of all, when it, uh, something I already noted is that the summer sunlight triggers the leaves to the keep making more chlorophyll. Um, but trees are very sensitive to changes in their environment, so as a result of that, um, there is uh, there's changes in the leaves. Um, of course, social determinants are associated with tree cover and um, where you have more, where you have less um, tree canopy, um, and that shields from heat um, and some other um, elements that are important. Um, ethylene and auxins are the main compounds for, that are uh, that play a role in tree abscission. Um, so, what are the signals for abscission? What are the signals for leaves falling? Um, again, as uh, this is go, it goes back to circadian rhythms, but as darkness stimulates the biosynthesis of the um, auxins and of the gas, um, the ethylene, um, the plants increase. Um, so as the circadian rhythms change, plants increase the ethylene production in autumn and winter, causing their leaves to drop. Um, it's like a self-destruct signal, honestly. Um, now, the other part of this, cellulose, is way more difficult to break down. Humans can't break it down. Um, animals can't break it down. Um, however, plants have the one catalytic agent, glycosidases, which break down cellulose. So, um, in this video, I've gone over how plants change leaves, how plants fall, uh, how, how leaves fall. Um, and then finally, um, giving you a sense of how plants provide um, some self-destruction. Um, thank you for listening.